Hey there, this is Linda Cromar. Just wanted to give you a little quick tip. Uh, always trying to share some things that will help you to be more effective in your business. And one of the things that's important is that many of us like to work on Facebook. And if, as you can see, I'm on the main feed area where there's, you know, things on the side. And most people, their feed is just whatever Facebook decides should be there. Now I want to show you something that's kind of cool. If you have a particular team build uh, or you know information uh, private groups that you want to be part of, you can absolutely make them become part of your list on the side here simply by going like this. And then in this case, this removes it, so I don't want to remove it. But if this wasn't already on that list, it would say add to favorites. So in other words, I have on this list, except for the first three things, which I don't have control over, the rest of this has actually been purposely put there. They're private team um, groups that I am part of and, and I use every day. And for instance, the pages that I, my two pages are right here. The one that is actually my, my main page is the first one on the top of the list. And you might also notice that there's some things missing here. Videos are not here. Uh, events are not here. And one thing that has happened is that, you know, we get a lot of people that ask to be in, you know, they just, they just invite absolutely everybody to everything all the time. And it gets to be a little bit irritating, actually. And you can take it off of your main feed. So what happened is I hit events like I'm doing right now. I went down here. But there was a place where I could take it off and not have it become part of my favorites on the top. And I can't remember where I did it, but it's somewhere like in here. Or it could be actually... It's probably down here on the side. If you look at the side, if you scroll over, there's a little cog wheel that lets you do this. And when you do this, it lets you add it to favorites. Well, the same thing also happens with you can remove from favorites. And so there are many things that I don't care about having up at the top. For instance, I don't care about the game feed. I let it go way down here because I don't want it. I don't need it. And, uh, you know, you can add this to favorites or you can leave it down here where it's, it's kind of hidden and you don't care about it. Because the only thing I work in most of the time is pages and groups and my own personal feed. So I don't go to uh, all the other things. And, and another thing is that with events, I never go to anything that I don't already have part of my own schedule because I have way more to do than that. And I'm not looking for anybody else's business. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's a bad idea to put up events, and people do all the time. It's just that, you know, people get invited seven, eight, ten times a day. That's all kinds of things, and you, you can't attend it all. So what do you do there? You can, you can come in. Just by clicking events, you can come in and you can just go delete, decline, decline, decline uh, real quick. You don't have to tell them why. You don't have to message them if you don't want to. You can just do that and you're done with it real quick. And on the other hand, you can create one right here if you want to. Um, so if you go into the events, you can find whatever's coming up right now and you can get rid of them. And then on the other hand, you can create one if you want to. And then another thing that's nice about when you hit the events page is you also can see who's got birthdays coming up if you want to actually make sure and recognize their birthdays, which that's a really cool feature because, you know, if you've got people that you're kind of spending time and trying to build a relationship with, most of the ones that you're going to have most of the interaction with are going to be the top on this list. So you can go to their page. If it's their birthday today, you can go to their page and you can say happy birthday. Uh, and sometimes it shows on the feed, but it hasn't been, for me, showing on the, on the feed as, you know, as easily to see. And I like to say happy birthday to people that I'm connecting with that 
that I do want them to know that I care about them. It's a nice thing you can do. It does take very much time. So, in other words, I'm creating a custom feed list or, or a favorites list right here. These are things I absolutely do want to get into. These are personal groups, private groups, that I interact with people in these groups every single day. And then if I want to go to other groups, I still have the group list down here as well. So that's just a quick tip I wanted to share. I thought that that was kind of cool and you'd like it.